What is up guys, Darius here and welcome to a new tutorial. And in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how I make my spheres. I use spheres a lot in uh, my manipulations and uh, just to give you a few examples, uh, I used it in this photo manipulation for the head, which I didn't cut off and turn into an aquarium. And uh, obviously in this one, uh, I think you guys saw the speed art if you checked on my channel. And uh, as you can see, I had some cracks and stuff like that. And I, I'm going to teach you this, so don't worry. And some highlights and whatever. Um, this is my latest uh, matte painting manipulation concept art kind of thing uh, that I use the spheres here for the, the drones. And in the background to just make these alien uh, stuffs, things, you know, alien structures. Um, and I used it here for the planets in this uh, concept art and then I used it here and this concept art uh, for as energy you know for the guy he's just pumping up it just <clears throat> ready to explode so uh, let's hop in the tutorial and see how these are done so first things first you need a texture so it, it really depends on what you're doing um, right now uh, like if, if I need some uh, some cracked stuff you know I'm just gonna import a texture of some cracked soil so once you have the cracked soil inside of Photoshop, um, the texture, you know, you can get these from cgtextures.com. Just log into the website and you have a 15 megabyte download per day and stuff like that. And just download whatever you want. Um, so once you loaded the texture into Photoshop, grab your elliptical marquee tool by pressing M or going into the menu here. And now holding shift, you're going to drag uh, a big sphere, you know, just as big as you need it. So uh, this seems like a right size for me. And I'm going to select the area that interests me that I want to be turned into uh, a sphere. So I like this one. Now go to filter and then distort and spherize. And then 100% mode normal and then OK. And there you go, there you have your sphere. Now you're going to just press Ctrl and C on the keyboard to copy it and Ctrl and V to paste it. So now we have our sphere here. This is our cracked one. So we're just going to add a background to it. Let me see here, um, probably a light blue or something. And uh, you can play around with it. You can play around with it how you want. Um, a thing to remember that if the sphere is in like a landscape or something, then I would add a shadow on the bottom. So if your sphere is near the earth, I would just make another layer on top of the sphere, right click and then create clipping mask. And you're going to start uh, with a soft brush and just a big soft brush, depending on how big the sphere is. And you're going to select black, change your opacity, the brush opacity to about, I don't know, uh, let's say 20. 20% and just start uh, brushing on the bottom you know so we're just giving some shadows on the bottom and on the top since the Sun will be shining or some moon or something will be shining on it uh, let's say it's noon so some uh, orange you know if it's noon mm, put 50% opacity now let's do some white there we go that should do it so we got some light coming from above. But a thing with the cracked ones, uh, you have to play around with uh, the texture. Because look here, there's a crack, but everything's so perfectly smooth. So since where you see these black cracks approaching the edge, you just grab your, um, you just add a mask to the layer. So click your layer with the sphere and then click on this add mask button here, add vector mask. Then click on your mask and with a uh, hard brush, hardness 100% size i don't know pretty small let's say seven seven should do maybe lower five five percent depending on the size of your sphere and with black as your color you can start by brushing a bit of the a bit of it oh, let me put my opacity back to 100 percent and just make it uneven you know so you can see that there's a crack there that uh it's not perfectly smooth ev everywhere so even here there you go and just go around the image and see where you can find uh, these black spots so you can make uh, the cracks more realistic. So just like this. There we go. And just keep er erasing. And this is just one of the type of spheres that, uh, <laughs> the types of spheres that you can do. There we go. We're gonna go like this. Here and here. 
There we go. Almost done. Oh, here's a big one. Just gonna erase the whole part over there. Over here. And there we go. That should be it. Oh, no, there's some more. Here above. Here. And so on. Gonna erase that one. Don't need this. So now if I go back, I can definitely see that it's not all perfectly uh, round because we have the holes around here. So you can add your shadow. You can see at the bottom now with the shadows that there's definitely some crack over there. You can make it even more intense if you want to. Um, and you can uh, add, I don't know, some color inside uh, with a brush. Just make it like lava falling out or something. And I'm going to show you that in a second how I did it. Uh, kind of gives it a more cartoony kind of look, but I, I think it's pretty cool, especially for photo manipulations or something colorful. Um, if you want to do planets, then you will need some Earth planet textures and stuff like that. So anything that can be used as a planet. So I have this awesome texture and I'm going to use this, for example, with the same technique to select an area that I want to use. There we go. I like this. And then go filter sphere eyes. I'm gonna, just gonna copy and paste that. There you go. And you have your planet. And now with the planets, let me just add a black background, you know, because it's space and stuff like that. A uh, thing to remember in planets that you need to add some atmosphere. So mm, let, let me see the color of your planet should determine what color the atmosphere should be. So to add an atmosphere, you just double click on your uh, planet. That you just made and now go to inner glow and make sure it's a big size and there you go there's your atmosphere and and it's on screen and you can change the color obviously you can change it to fit your um planet so i let me just try with some orange that looks great or some some there you go some light orange just like that a bit more opacity a bit more size bigger and now what you can do is just you know uh make this dark and add some stars. Let me see if I can find some stocks of some stars in my folder here. Okay, there we go. Is it on my, yep, it's on my other screen. So let me see here, stars, there we go. We got the stars. I'm gonna import them into Photoshop and put them in the background. There we go. Whoops, that did not go as planned. Again. Okay, now I'm just gonna resize this and I can put the stars, for example, on screen and we got our space or maybe, um, let, me, let me see, lighten maybe. Okay, there we go, lighten. Um, you can, if you're doing something like the earth, for example, then your inner glow would be some sort of blue because, you know, our earth is a blue planet and that looks kind of cool. And you can also add some nebulas in the background, you know, some um, some spacey kind of environmental uh, stuff. Let me see if I can find some nebulas in my stocks. Uh, it should be here somewhere. Mm, eh, nope. Something like this, for example, you can add it in the background and it will look absolutely amazing. There we go. Let's try this nebula here. So I'm just going to add this in the background. Put it on screen maybe now let's leave it on normal check that out that looks fantastic and with the stars and everything looks really like a space kind of wallpaper spacey stuff you know and you can also if you you can make the sphere bigger obviously and you can move it like down here and make uh the screen a bit brighter maybe add um another layer on top and create a clipping mask uh, grab a big, 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 big soft brush. And, I don't know, uh, the color should be the same of the nebula, you know, and just, like, put it over there on top. Just like that, you know. So this is like in a typical uh, <laughs> space wallpaper kind of thing, you know. There you go. And you can also play around with other types. Uh, let me see if I have the PSD here with the stuff that I did. So this is... Um, 
I started with the cartoony kind of sphere. I told you you can add some stuff inside, you know, um, like color and stuff. I like this look, you know, it's kind of cartoony and stuff. The planet that I just showed you, then you can make some water, for example. So I have the sphere here, which was basically just uh, some some sea foam from, uh, let me see, this, this stock here. And I just made uh, a sphere out of it. And then I just, you know, added some stuff in the background, some color correction here and there. And I added the outer glow, as I showed you. And then some water splashes on top, which are on screen. See? That's it. And this is like a water ball. And I did the same with fire. Just the same sphere with fire, with some fire stalks. And that's about it. You know, I just selected... Um, some fire, see, made a sphere, added some highlights, and then just added flames on screen again. There we go. That's basically it. I You can use these spheres for anything that <laughs> needs a sphere. So if you need like a planet uh, behind a city or a, a landscape that you made, it's uh, just really easy to do and it looks cool and it's really fast. Um, I really like how it came out in here. As you can see, I added a bunch of texture everywhere and uh, I don't know, some some stuff. <laughs> I added some vines and stuff like that. I really like how it came out. I added some lava texture on top. So I actually did one sphere, which were the roots of a tree. And then I added another sphere on top on screen or color dodge, if I recall and it was about lava and it was a lava sphere and look how the lava on the left just stood like there in the dark areas just uh being highlighted and in the white areas just uh turning into this orange kind of stuff and i added two more uh, structures in the background and i think it came out really cool yeah so that's about it for this tutorial it was really quick uh, nothing too uh big but it will help you a lot with your sphere manipulations Make sure to check the link in the description and that's my Twitch page and uh, I stream there. I'm going to start streaming more often. I got a new webcam today. <laughs> so I hope you're going to enjoy that. And uh, yeah, make sure to subscribe, leave a like and uh, you know how this goes. Thanks for watching and see you guys in the next video. Cheers.